We're going to talk about the obscenity of the 50 wealthiest Americans now owning more wealth than the bottom half of our society. 50 people, half of our people, 160 million people. While at the same time, over 90 million Americans are uninsured, have no health insurance, or are underinsured, can't afford to go to a doctor when they get sick. Is that the America that we want? I don't think so. We'll be asking about how it happens that the top one-tenth of one percent now owns more wealth than the bottom 90 percent. One-tenth of one percent, more wealth than the bottom 90 percent, and two individuals, Bezos and Musk, now own more wealth than the bottom 40 percent. And meanwhile, we're looking at more hunger in America than at any time in decades. As you may know, uh, I asked Mr. Bezos to testify at this hearing. He declined my invitation, and that's too bad, because if he was with us this morning, I would ask him the following question, and that is, Mr. Bezos, you are worth $182 billion. That's a B. $182 billion. You're the wealthiest person in the world. Why are you doing everything in your power to stop your workers in Bessemer, Alabama, from joining a union so that they can negotiate for better wages, better benefits, and better working conditions? The American people are increasingly disgusted with the corporate greed they are experiencing every single day. They are sick and tired of corporate CEOs who now make 320 times more than their average employees, while at the same time giving themselves big bonuses, all kinds of golden parachutes, and yet they cut back on the health care that their workers have.